हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स आई एम असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर रुशाली आहिर एंड इन आर माइक्रोबायोलॉजी पार्ट फर्स्ट एज वी ऑल नो वी आर वी हैव ऑलरेडी स्टार्टेड द सेकेंड क्रेडिट व्हिच इंक्लूड्स द केमिकल बेसिस ऑफ माइक्रोबायोलॉजी दिस इज अ पार्ट ऑफ बायो केमिस्ट्री इन विच टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट प्रोटीन्स now as we all know that the proteins are the building blocks of all the living cells so what are proteins how these proteins are classified and what are the structure of proteins that we will study in detail so in this unit of proteins we are going to learn about the proteins types of proteins then the proteins are made up of amino acids so what are amino acids what are the different types of amino acids classification of amino acids that we are going to study in detail in this unit as well as we are going to study the structural organization of proteins amino acids and their bases what are peptide bonds dihedral angles and various examples of the proteins like hemoglobin and myoglobin we are going to study in detail in our further lectures so let's start with the introduction about the proteins now the proteins are the most abundant organic molecules of the living system generally they occur in every part of the cell and they constitute near about 50% of the cellular drive it these proteins are also known as molecular machines as well as building blocks and the arms of the living cells there are major and almost sole function is enzymatic catalysis of chemical conversions in and around the cells now as we all know that various metabolic processes inside our body is carried out with the help of enzymes and the enzymes generally all the enzymes are proteins but all proteins are not enzymes and these enzymes are the biocatalyst which enhance or increase the rate of reactions carried out in various bacteria animals or plant cells these term protein was first coined by the scientist Berzelius in the year eighteen thirty, and generally these proteins are composed of carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, and nitrogen molecule. They may also contain uh, some some of the proteins. They may also contain sulfur as well as selenium, etc. when we will study the structure of amino acids that in that we will study about this in detail again generally the proteins are the polymers different types of amino acids come together and form a long polypeptide chain and these long polymer chain is known as protein and these polymer chain is built up by the amino acid which are linked to each other with the help of peptide chain so as we have discussed earlier that the molecules when they are hydrolyzed when the breakdown of polypeptide chain or the protein is carried out with the process of hydrolysis it gives or it yields the amino acid so the molecule which yields amino acid upon hydrolysis is called as proteins these are as they are made up of amino acid so they are also known as the natural polymers of amino acids and the number of amino acids present in a protein molecule may vary it varies from 
टू टू सेवरल थाउजेंड ऑफ अमाइनो एसिड सम ऑफ द प्रोटीन कंसिस्ट ओनली टू नंबर ऑफ अमाइनो एसिड एज वेल एज सम काइंड ऑफ प्रोटीन कंसिस्ट ऑफ नियर अबाउट थाउजेंड अमाइनो एसिड लॉन्ग चेन सो यर एज यू हैव डिस्कस्ड अर्लियर दैट द प्रोटीन मॉलिक्यूल कंटेन्स नाइट्रोजन कार्बन हाइड्रोजन एंड ऑक्सीजन मॉलिक्यूल these proteins are very important in all the kinds of plants and animal cells as the major structural organization of all the cells is made up of proteins these proteins are the basis for the major structural components of animal as well as human tissues they acts as a biological catalyst means as a enzyme as it is a biological component and it increases the rate of reaction so it is known as biocatalyst or biological catalyst it does not take directly part in the reaction but it only increases the rate of reaction carried out inside the cell it also forms a proper structural part of the organism as well as it participates in various cell reactions and it also improves the immune system or increases the immunity power of the various organisms so these most abundant micromolecule or proteins they occurs in all the cells and all the parts of the cells and these proteins may vary in their shape size and weight etc depending on the type of protein and type of the cell the protein varies and according to their structure according to their chemical functions the proteins are classified in various groups so first we will see the classification of proteins depending on the composition of the proteins the proteins are classified into three groups simple proteins conjugate proteins and derived proteins now the simple proteins the proteins which gives one amino acid upon hydrolysis the protein which is made up of one amino acid is known as simple protein jo bhi protein sirf ek hi amino acid se bana hota hai use hum simple protein bolte hain when the amino acid as well as non protein group comes together and attach with the help of polypeptide chain the new molecule which is formed is known as conjugated protein the conjugated protein contains other group apart from the amino acid so the molecule those which gives an amino acid and non protein group upon hydrolysis are known as conjugated protein isme amino acid hote hai and other than amino acid isme other group bhi present hota hai jo ki protein nahi hota that non protein part when it combines with the amino acid and the molecule which it's form it is known as conjugated protein and when simple and conjugate protein both comes together and forms a new molecule when two molecules like simple and conjugate protein comes together and new molecule which is form it is known as derived protein or a derived protein are the those which are derived from simple and conjugated protein so this is all about the classification of proteins depending on the 
कंपोजिशन ऑफ अमाइनो एसिड्स दे आर क्लासिफाइड इन थ्री ग्रुप्स सिंपल प्रोटीन कॉन्जुगेट प्रोटीन एंड डेराइव प्रोटीन सो दिस वॉज ऑल अबाउट द सिंपल इंट्रोडक्शन अबाउट द प्रोटीन्स इन द नेक्स्ट सेशन वी विल स्टडी इन डिटेल अबाउट द अमाइनो एसिड्स एज वेल एज द पोलीपेप्टाइड चेन थैंक यू